Hello survivors, I am Heaven and I'm back with another video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and please turn on your post notifications. Today's title will be The Lion's Roar. That's my boy, no matter what, he always made me smile. Man, he was 16 years old and you gotta get a job. So he got that job at McDonald's. <laughs> he got that job at McDonald's. So you already know he was coming back with some good old snacks, some good old food. Every time we already knew, every day we already knew that what time he got off. So we would be sitting there waiting for him to come off of work, come in the house with two bags of food. And yes, it was nice and fresh. And he always had something for somebody. Through it all, you still made us smile. Through it all. Playing outside. And I used to remember we had this um, basketball hoop outside in the backyard. I remember they used to drag it down the street. Or did your friends have one? Because I know we had one, but I don't know if you used to drag that to the street under the light and play with your friends outside. Or if they had their own and would drag it in the street. But you and your boys always was out there playing ball. You was, you know, you had to be a certain age, but you was always playing ball. But you better had everything all chores completed. And when you come back into the house, you better not be smiling. It better not look like you was having fun. It better not look like you was having fun. Because you're going to get it. You're going to get it. And after you get it, they're going to reward you with a toy. I remember you had this, this gray ship. It was some gray ship looking toy. You had that turtle. Every time you got in trouble, you would always get a toy or something. Something to keep things quiet. To keep silent. Your worth ethics. Ha! My boy always had a job. You could not tell me my boy never had a job. Because he always had a job. That's my boy. No matter what. He always made me smile. Always had a job. Always. I remember... When I got old enough and I used to walk to Stratford to them security jobs you used to be at, I used to be like, Damal, what's up? Getting in the little, um, you guys had this little, how could I say, little tight building where the security's working. And you used to have to watch over the building with the cameras. And I used to be like, are you at work? I'm about to come stop by. I'm about to come stop by so we can hang out. Hang out under the heater. Cause it was cool at the time. Man, I'm so proud of you. Always have been, always will. Even when you didn't make the right choices in life, you were hurt. You were just hurt. That's all I can say. But just remember, you're my boy. No matter what, you always made me smile. Man, I used to remember at Mill Hill, you would be in your room with the door locked because you already know we were going to bust in and be bothering you. He was the only boy at the time, so we was always going to be bothering you. I was sitting on the um on the dresser in the hallway. And any time you would come out your room, I'd be like, boo! <laughs> You'll be like, oh my gosh, y'all always bothering me. Or any time you, you dancers get in a drink or something. And you come back upstairs and I'm either hiding under the bed, in the closet, behind the door. You was always just like, ah, it's you again. It's you again. But you're my boy. No matter what, you always made me smile. And I remember one night, it was a school night too. There was a dirty spoon in the sink. Oh, the kids wants to be asleep. I don't care if it's a school night. Where is my belt? 
Everybody up, get up. Everybody up. Go downstairs. Go downstairs every dish from spoons, well, utensils, pots, pans, bowls, plates, cups. Every dish in the house, in the sink, whether it was clean or not. Every dish. And we would be running downstairs just to cry. Just to cry. Because we just got woken up out of our sleep. Got woken up out of our sleep. Over a dirty dish. Elementary school years. Yes. Elementary school years. Got woken up out of our sleep. Y'all cleaning them dishes. We just to cry. Oh, 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 my behind. Clean up this mess. Oh, my behind. Clean up this mess. Oh, my behind. With the mind. It's like. It's crazy because once he got a little older. And once he'll get popped. No matter how hard he'll try not to cry. He'll be, he'll try to be so tough. He'll try not to cry. He'll be like, just holding it in. Just holding it in. But then it'll get to a point where he just hurt. And he just, just got this, this, this distinct cry. Like, oh, oh. And it will eat me up. It would eat me up. But you're going to get a toy. You're going to get something to keep you quiet. From not telling. Man, you got hit so many times. In your life. So many times in your life. I'm sure at a certain point you were just like, just go ahead. Just hit me. Just hit me. Because most times it's not for a reason. You want to be smiling. You want to you wanna walk past and not say hi every second. You don't want to acknowledge. Man, I just want to grab something to drink. I just got to run to the car and get something. Oh, you want to, oh, you want to talk back? And here we go again. Here we go again. Sad. So sad. That's my boy. No matter what, he always made me smile. I remember taking them road trips to South Carolina. I remember taking them road trips. And we used to listen to the same songs over and over. Over and over. And you know what the mom used to be doing? Always beatboxing with his mouth. Or. Tapping with his hands. I be like. <laughs> Here go the mom. <laughs> that was my boy. <laughs> Cause that's my boy. No matter what. He always made me smile. Through it all. You still check on me. You still see if I'm alright. You still bug me. But for real. You're my boy. You're my boy. You hung in there. You hung in there. You hung in there. But from what you was taught. But from what you knew. Of course you didn't make the right decisions in life. You did exactly what you saw. Another way the Bible prohibits child abuse is in its forbidden of psychological and emotional abuse. Ephesians 6 and 4 warns fathers not to exasperate or provoke their child, but bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Harsh and loving verbal discipline, emotional manipulation, or volatile environments alienate children's minds from their parents and render their instruction and correction useless. Parents can provoke and exasperate their children 
by placing unreasonable requirements on them, belittling them, or constantly finding fault, thereby producing wounds that can be as bad as or worse than any physical beating can inflict. Colossians 3 and 21 tells us not to embitter our children so they will not become discouraged. Don't become discouraged though. You're better than that. You're beautiful. You're smart. You will be somebody in life. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Child abuse is real. You'll never know who it happens to. It just come out so late. Because you're just scared. You're just scared. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back with another video. I am heaven.